That can only mean one thing. It's time to talk about foreclosures, and that means we're bringing in the foreclosure specialist, uh, Ario Frank. And today, Frank, we're going to talk about the uh, the world of all cash buying uh, and yes. how to compete. We're going to talk about investors today. Yes. So uh, people who are Love thinking me some about investors. Let me investors. We're going to uh, today. We're going to talk about people who are interested in investing. And, and working in the all cash world in the foreclosure market, and Frank's going to give you a couple of tips on uh, uh, how to make that happen. So, Frank, take it away. Yeah, uh, today, the, while well, the topic uh, um, is important for everyone, everyone's a consumer out there. I know there are a lot of people that get a finance loan to buy a property, but there are a lot of people who are maybe uh, downsizing and have uh, the cash to uh, to buy a condo, to buy a smaller home, and so forth. Um, and a lot of cash buyers out there. I don't think they realize that there are simple techniques to separate yourself from the pack. Oftentimes, when I put a property on the market that's just not financeable, uh, I could get multiple offers. Of course, a lot of them are very low-ball offers. Um, some of them are uh, uh, even near near list price. But oftentimes, if you get five offers and they're only within a couple of thousand dollars from each other, how do you separate yourself from the pack? Well, I'm going to give a couple of few t- hints here. Um, First of all, I always recommend using an agent. A lot of cash investors will try to, uh, they'll call the uh, listing agent like myself and they'll ask me to write the offer for them. Well, you know, I might have four or five other people asking me to do the same thing. My Honestly, my loyalty is to the seller and my job is to sell the, uh, the property to the best of my ability. And I really am not going to show favoritism to a buyer. I write the offer as they want me to write it, I send it in. So I do recommend, and I don't have a problem, and actually as a listening agent would prefer you have an agent representing you who can handle everything for you. Now, wow. For, I was wow. going to say wow, because, I mean, for yeah. those of you who didn't just catch what Frank said, he basically he is saying down, I would turn down yeah. uh, 3% of the typical 6% commission because it just causes well, conflict. It, it I try does. telling my buyers that all the time, what you just said, that your loyalty is to the seller, and it's so amazing if, that you just said that. If I, if, I do uh, get, if I do get a buyer who absolutely, for whatever given reason, doesn't have a friend or family member, and who doesn't, who doesn't? So, that isn't so a licensed realtor. So if I need realtor, to buy, you'll be there for me, Frank? <laughs> I will be there for you. Oh my God, thank uh, you. I don't do it often, but I, you know, I, I when I do do it, I commit myself. I try to, you know... You I, should I, be committed, Frank. Uh, well, I am. <laughs> 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 Only on Saturdays from 10 to 11. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, but first thing off, as a cash buyer, when you're going to look at these properties, I, I highly recommend you bring your inspector, your contractor, wh- when viewing the property. Right One off shot. the bat. Get One it, shot. Go in, uh, inside and out. When I s- list a property and uh, uh, an agent tells me, we're going to take a look at your property today, I'm going to bring my contractor, uh, I'm, I'm ecstatic about that. I don't have to deal with the uh, home inspection reports and all this other stuff after the fact. Okay. Um, as far as your offer, now when you're writing your offer, there, is, there are simple little things, but things that you have to be confident in yourself when you're writing your offer about. Uh, for one thing, put a high earnest deposit. You know, uh, Within your due diligence period, you have to realize and understand that you have a particular amount of time uh, agreed upon both parties to do your inspections. And if you put twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 down as your earnest deposit and you have seven days to do your inspections, you're going to get that money back if you if you comply, basically. But you got to be careful and confident and make sure you're following your timelines. Um, also, little or no concessions. Uh, usually cash buyers are all cash, as is, no repairs, things like that. But sometimes they'll ask for termite. Sometimes they'll ask for even home warranties. Uh, it really throws the sellers off when you're trying to get those knick-knack, you know. Sellers be in the banks. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, sellers wonder what's going on with this cash buyer, you know. Um Start your due, have a, a a little or no due diligence period. Remember, if you're smart, you go in with your contractor right off the bat. That same day, he's going down to the city to find out what's going on with the property. Within 20, 48 hours, 24, 48 hours, you could know the A through Z of that property and know what needs to be done and how it needs to get done and what it's going to cost you. So to quote a great American, get her done. Get her done. <laughs> um, if, you, if you really want to be confident and separate yourself from the pack and get daring and show the seller you mean business Ooh. put your earnest deposit as the full per uh, the, the full purchase price oh, wow. meaning if you're buying that uh, 100 your deposit is your the, deposit is the, 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 the entirety price, of the of the purchase price you're saying, wow. that, you're saying that would wow. get the attention of the seller it that will would, that would impress <laughs> the yeah. bank. That, <laughs> that, 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 so if you have, if the sellers got four or five offers and they're all around one twenty-five, 
you might even get it at 120 because you're telling them my due diligence period is only three days or two days or no days because I want this property. I plan on moving forward it forward with it, and upon opening escrow, I'm putting the full amount in escrow. You know, I mean, what else do you got to yeah, tell a seller? Right. I mean, that, business. That's got to be impressive. Know? So, you know, as a uh, as a suggestion here, what we're talking about to investors is, you know, get in this game and get in it the right way. Um, you know, play fast, play hard, um, and uh, get your money up front and get your people lined up and get ready but, to go. Because for the banks, like speed. Yes, yeah, but at like the same speed. time, protect yourself. Get your knowledge up front. Get Always your, protect yourself. Get your ducks in order. Hold up your left. Keep and, your left and, up. And once you have that confidence, and try working with the same contractors, the same agents every time right. you work as a Create unit. Create a system. You know? mm-hmm. and, it and just that, gets better and better, and your, smoother and smoother. Your confidence will grow, and you will see... Uh, uh, more the the more likelihood that you're the one that's always getting the property rather than the other five or six multiple investors. Okay, guys, that's what I'm talking. That's the kind of stuff you get here on keeping it real estate. Uh, you know, we're, we're hitting it. We're hitting you hard. We're hitting you right between the eyes. Uh, but again, we hope that this information uh, makes that process simpler for you. And